Hi, it's Professor Monty. Let's talk about the distributive law. Now, the distributive law puts together the ideas of multiplication and addition into the same equation. So the distributive law says if I have a times the sum, remember the sum means add, b plus c, that's the same as distributing the a through to each of these pieces. So if a times b plus a times c. So the idea, what we can think of, is we're taking, let's write it out this way. We distribute inside, oh, instead of a times this sum, it's a times b plus, and then we distribute the a to the c also, a plus c, or a times c, rather. And that's the distributive law. That's what we mean by distributing, put it into each one. So let's look at an example. So say we have 2 times 4 plus 6. The distributive law would say, oh, I can distribute. And instead of adding these first, that the order of operation would say to add, because they're in the parentheses, which comes before multiplication, what I can do is I can multiply this in here. And so it's going to be 2 times 4 plus, and then 2 times 6, distributed to 2 times 6. And we can check to make sure that works. Because we, order of operation here, we'd say, oh, inside the parentheses, 4 plus 6 is 10. And then 2 times 10 is 20. Well, on the other side, we do the multiplication in each place before the addition. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 6 is 12. But lo and behold, 8 times 12 is 20 also. So we see in this instance, the distributive law works and it always works, that's why it's a law. Okay, that's the idea. Now let me show you something real quick, because here's how it's often used. Let's erase this real quickly. Because if we have all those numbers, it doesn't really need to use the distributive law. We could have done it either way, which we did. So often when you'll see it, it's something like this. See, we have five times x plus four. And then the distributive properties, you can say, hey, we can't add the x plus 4, but we can distribute the 5 in, and we'll get 5 times x plus, and then 5 times 4. And we'd often write it as 5x plus 20. And so that's how we're usually going to use the distributive property, is when there's a variable inside here. And we will use this to do things later in the course. All right, best of luck to you. You can get this. This is pretty straightforward. It just takes a little bit of practice.